Ladies and gentlemen, this episode of the Burnley Dumb Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com. Whether you are in a funk in your life, you need somebody to talk to, somebody to help you get back on track, BetterHelp.com is the place to go. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash BDS today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash BDS for 10% off your first month. Go over to betterhelp.com, get everything back on track and do it the right way. Talk to somebody today, betterhelp.com. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to what is another edition here of the brilliantly dumb show and i i pose the question to you mikey v where else would you rather spend your tuesday morning than right here with the fellas uh, i mean i i wish i was spending my tuesday morning i'm not um it's monday night and it's right. fucking eight o'clock now for you right. out there in digital land of course this is the best way to spend your tuesday morning and this is the way i would love to spend my tuesday morning but odds are i'm pushing some papers and some pens across my desk at this very time you're watching this so send me your thoughts and prayers thank you and otherwise uh bob that's that a nice a shirt long-winded answer yeah yeah well, you know what i'm gonna give my answers the way i see fit okay i'm gonna give my answers the way i see fit because you've never went into a long winded fans of yourself right? i just it was you know you said more than you necessarily needed to you could have said i'm tired if anybody knows about that it's you buddy fair, fair. i guess yeah. that's the pot <laughs> calling the kettle black so you know a little bit you, little you bit. know what i've been doing that i have just absolutely how is on. that glass box still behind you or oh, it'll be there for spot. weeks it'll be no there weeks. no no it's it's by the way it's an empty box now thanks to tass rabbit which i'm going to speak about a little bit later on the show tass rabbit is is terrific it's well, a very Bob's, fun the, any void that bob had in his life has now been filled by the app known as task rabbits you can have it's my <laughs> first time that, using. i thought that was just a mirror wasn't it just a mirror right you called TaskRabbit to hang a mirror? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what? Come on, man. <laughs> you don't want, you, I'm, not, you, I'm not Mr. Home hang, Improvement by any means, but like, yeah, hanging a mirror. I mean, I, a couple, I, couple I drywall call, anchors, a little level. and you know, I'd call you know. a TaskRabbit to, to fix a light bulb. These guys do. <laughs> you would do your own mirrors, Michael? Yeah, I mean, I have. Really? Yeah, Tim the tool yeah. man Taylor below us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, yeah. just somebody who's, you know, I mean, again, I'm not I'm not a, a handyman by any means, but I mean, how hard is it to fucking put in some drywall oh. anchors and, and hang a mirror? So you gotta align it. You got would you hang your own mirror, Joey D? Uh it depends. Um, if it was in the guest room, maybe. If it's in my room, I would call it to ask Rabbit. What, oh. what what have we become here? <laughs> what the fuck has this become? Joe. Man? Joe, what is this I don't... become if it was the guest room? What what what, what happened to? Yeah, us? that. By the way, I would. I, I didn't understand that. What's that? What does that have to do? With I'm it? saying because the guest room is kind of second nature. You don't see it very often. If it's in my room and I'm seeing it day in day out, I want to make sure it's level because those kind of things will drive me nuts. Joey Castle, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, will you Joey stop Castle's it? By the way, I bought a small little mirror. I don't even need to hang it for the guest room. I just just push it up against the wall. That's all I did. What do you mean? You just push it up against it's on the floor. Yeah, it's up against the corner of the wall. It's like a floor mirror that goes uh, it's like five feet high. Okay. Okay. All Interesting. right. Okay. Uh, I mean, okay. it would look weird if I hung that. Sure. My the funny stop. thing is, go ahead, Joseph. Bob said to me today, "Bear down." He goes, "Do you know that the task rabbits they'll even wait in line for you?" <laughs> They will. He's gonna pay somebody to wait in line at the DMV so he can go get his license. I think I I, tr <laughs> I, I tried you. Oh, oh, as a line holder. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. got it. Yeah. I mean, Mike. now that, now that, let me say this: using a task rabbit to wait in line at the DMV to me is much more acceptable than using one. To oh, you approve. No. In, that, in that scenario, I do. In that scenario, if that's a real thing, that's great. 
I mean, honestly, yeah. that's great. But I'm saying a lot of people, I would justify spending money to have somebody wait in line at the DMV, which we know <laughs> is a nightmare, over hanging a mirror. I'm saying right. that's much more. I can, I can, I can get with that a lot easier than I can with the mirror. I said to my buddy today because he's going to, he's in New York, he's going to John's uh, in Bleecker Street. And, you know, he said, the only thing I'm dreading is the line. I said, call a task rap. <laughs> I, I would use, I mean, it's a, and by the way, the prices, they're very reasonable prices too. What is it, by the hour? Yeah, by the hour. And it depends on the rabbit. It depends sure. on how. <laughs> the five-star rabbit, you know. Hey, you got a good rabbit. It's actually yeah. a hair. <laughs> this guy just cracks himself up, man. It's it's unbelievable. That was so bad. Too. It was so I mean, it was bad. Good, it was so bad. It was so good, bad. So, bad. Like so what do they rank? They oh, rank the rabbits, it. Bob. They rank them. Yeah, they rank them based on their skill set. This guy. This guy. I. I <laughs> You know what, what, what I've been doing? watching? I've been watching. He swapped his headphones up. <laughs> you know what, what so the doing. rabbits, what are the rabbits on our, on like a five-star rating scale or what? Um, I don't Based on skill, what? I'm, yeah, like experience. Got yeah. it. Got it. But it's you look amazing. up what you need. So like there's some that do painting. Oh, of course. There's of some course. that do, you know, I guess there's some that just wait in lines. That's that's so I mean that that doesn't take much skill. I mean, that's the least skilled <laughs> rabbit, so that's probably cost you <laughs> pennies on the dollar. Well, I'll tell so you this. again, that's why I could go with that. Now, the guy who comes into your house and starts hanging shit, I would imagine, you know, they have some experience, they're gonna be a more expensive rabbit. Yeah, yeah, the oh, one yeah. I got today was a great rabbit because he just he's very skilled. He was like a full time um like I gotta I gotta have somebody um rewire the electric or, or or something along those lines well they there. probably they probably have to they probably have to reconfigure your breaker is what they have to do something wow, along michael those, something along i mean the guy they, they, this is just things that come to you when you like you you have when you own a home you got to go through all that well, nonsense like I, you gotta I go would, through all that shit yeah if i owned a home i i would take a lot of pride in in my home to where yeah, but you're not gonna my be, apartment you're, yeah, but you're not going to be fucking with the electric. No, no, no. I mean, that's something I would never do either. But I'm just saying, like, I think for home improvements, like, I draw the line at, like, if I can't do it myself with, like, a drill and, like, drywall anchors or, you know, even even finding – I could find a stud in the wall and, and hang something like that. But, like, I'll say this. Like, when it came to, like, hanging, like, the big screen TVs and stuff, like, I had somebody do that. Did you just get a power wanna, tools? I don't want to fuck that up. Do you have power tools? I do, yeah. I, you know, standard stuff, though. Not anything crazy like a handheld See, drill. I feel like that's the sign of an adult. When you have a power tool, when you have, like, a power drill, I, I have a you little... A, if you own a home, you, you have to have these things, though. Like, you, you have to have these things because, like, you're going to need to fix a little knickknack, and you're not going to call a task rabbit for every fucking little yeah. thing. I'll, like, I'll tell there you There's a lot what, of rabbits around the house. A ticket <laughs> has... Guy, they multiply those rabbits. <laughs> oh they yeah, they call them the little fuck bunnies. By the way, I think I've said this on the show before, but did you know that big ticket used to be a rabbit? Oh. Yeah, see that 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 doesn't surprise. It's a big me. old rabbit. I didn't know that, but it doesn't, doesn't oh, surprise whoa. me. Whoa, a little ricochet shot there for the T man. That's wow. a wow. That's a jack rabbit right there. Wow. Oh. That's the old hair. Oh yeah. man, dude! I that. Do you know how many questions now that I've used one? Do you know how many questions I would have uh, what was for his ticket? Skill? Of, you know, what ticket? was his skill? <laughs> That's a great question. You should ask him what he. What was his skill set? He he would assemble. He would assemble for IKEA. Him. Oh yeah, of that sort. Assembly. Yeah, yeah that's of good. that sort. I tell you why that's a good that's a good little niche to get in because IKEA. That's the reason I don't shop there. It's like who wants to put together every fucking thing you buy? Like well, Mikey, there's a life hack. If you go to IKEA, you pay like sixty dollars. They'll deliver and assemble right, 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 right. The item for it. Right. I still the just don't like IKEA. Going. I just don't like IKEA. You I don't like what? it. Fair, yeah. It's, feel, I, it's not high I feel end very, furniture. I feel very uncomfortable in IKEA. When I, I go I in there, too. I feel very uncomfortable for whatever reason. Yeah, it's not up. They've got pretty good food, though. I see. That's another Did thing that makes me very uncomfortable. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to eat in the same place that I'm buying a build your own futon. Like, there's nothing appetizing about like a little Swedish meatball next to a you know a four foot dresser that's going to take me ten hours to put together. Like, it just <laughs> yeah. completely makes me not hungry. Well, just next aggravate. time, 
You pay the sixty dollars, you get the guy to assemble it, you go enjoy some meatballs. Sixty dollars sounds the, like a steal. Joe, what's the rabbit with the antlers on their head? Do you remember you know what which one? A jackalope. That's jackalope. what it's called. Yeah, a that's... jackalope. That would be that... this would be <laughs> if ticket was a rabbit, this would be the rabbit that ticket would look like. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the, t- the jackalope with the big antlers on it. Yeah, head. man. Oh, very, I, very serious dude, rabbit. He tickets one of those guys, we say it all the time, where he's lived like five different lives. Like he he'll, he'll he'll hit you with something. He'll be like, Oh yeah, like I lived in Seattle for like five years, and then he'll be like, Yeah, I lived in Machu Picchu for like a year. Like he's <laughs> one of these guys that he's He's just kind of seen, you know, a little bit of. And by the way, he did live in Seattle. He 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 went there to do a um, Kurt Cobain biopic when he was a writer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, isn't that something? He moved I mean, to Seattle so talk, he could assimilate himself within you the want to confines. Talk to, that's what I'm saying. You want to talk depression? You're talking about doing a Kurt K, Kurt Cobain bio in Seattle, man. <laughs> yeah, that's tough. That's Woo! tough. That's, That's the not, epitome of, of, of depressing. I tell you, you know what's one of my favorite things of the day? I have watched this maybe 20 times by now. The Joey D. Dick Sporting Goods ad today is one of my all time. Which one? Which Dude. there's two. We got that new new today. Which one? Yes. Yes. Okay, That's the one. Oh, let me tell you. Are you here for the golf event? Because don't need to I thought it was down. very well edited, Bob. No, to be honest, I had hey, like, my event going on. The golf <laughs> is I, think, I think that that look is the good look for Joe. The Dick I like it. Oh, get out of here. Look. I'm not saying, Joe, I'm not saying you should work for Dicks. I'm just saying I don't think the look is that bad. No, hey, no, Watt. listen. JJ Watt. Dick's athlete, Joey D. Dick's athlete. I DM'd him. I said, I said, yeah. what did I say? Something like Dick's, Dick's uh, represent Dick's or something like. Oh, that sounds hey, terrible. Joe. That sounds terrible. I didn't say it like that. I said, <laughs> <laughs> Hey JJ, I'm representing Dick's over here. Big I, didn't say Dick's like, I, I didn't say it like that. I said something like, uh, I don't remember. But he's 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 full blown Dick's sporting goods. Like I didn't realize how how into it. Old blowing is. dicks, man. He's yeah. JJ. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> There's really no way to talk about dicks. Oh that my God, man! God, man! We're isn't. just just, just, just hanging isn't. ourselves here. You man. know what? JJ's one of those guys. He's setting up a nice little second career for himself. A little after football career. He, he's a part owner owner in um Burnley, the 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 soccer team. Uh, I don't know. He, soccer he's a part team. owner of Burnley. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. Really. That he's got the bagel shop that he keeps sending me bagels from. Um, I was wondering what the fuck that was about. Okay, keep so sending me bagels. Bagel yeah. oh, no, no, I know. I saw Pops that, but bagels. I was like, why? Now it makes sense. Pops bagels, but Joe, I actually got a new a new shop. I love Pops, but a local shop here that, believe it or not, Mikey V, this place has Taylor ham. You know the omelet that I sent you today? Yeah. Uh, they put Taylor Ham in the omelet. It's, it's it's Taylor Ham. They like, should yeah. have Taylor Ham. Yeah, and 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 uh, is the JJ's place is Bob's Bagels? No, no Pops. Yeah, Pops Bagels. Because there's Pops a place bagels. right. There's a place within like five minutes of my house. Excellent bagels, and it's actually called Bob's Bagels. Bob's Bagels. Oh, oh that's yeah, a good and it's name. a very good bagel place. Really, they they make the flat everything bagel, which is one of my favorite bagels of all time. I the, love a flat, uh, it, it, like a Bialy. Should be the spokesperson. It's not a Bialy. That. It's literally a flattened bagel. They call it a flagel or a flat bagel. Sure, Some, sure. A lot of places around here have them. Yeah, and I mean this thing is just loaded with the, with the everything you know, all the everything seeds and all the shit. And I'm a big advocate for the flat bagel. But yeah, Bob's Bagels in Lyndhurst. Do you know the um the flagels are great, by the way. They don't get enough. Love a credit. flagel. No, I do too. I don't like a lot I never of, had one of those. my bagel. Joe, I, I you would love let me tell you something, Joe. You Crust. you you would love a flagel. What 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 is it? You just take all it's the a flat it's a, it's a bigger bagel surface area wise, but it's flattened, so you don't have like you know how people like this is a thing. In Jersey and New York, it's a thing to go to bagel shops and you'll hear someone. I never do it because I think it's preposterous, but I have heard people do it in scooped line. Scooped out? Scooped out bagel. The flagel, you'll never have to scoop out a bagel again because it's not a doughy bagel. It's flat already. There's nothing to scoop out, really. You get the perfect amount of dough, in my opinion, ratioed to the crust topping. Like in everything oh. flagel, that'll, yeah. that'll, that'll, that'll tune you up real nice. 
You know um, the problem, though, that JJ's bagels have? It's a great bagel, but I will just say they have a Jersey Mike's issue where if you have one of the bagels, it's mm -hmm. not enough. But you, if you have two, it's two Mike's, too much. Got and it. that's my Got problem it. right now with Jersey Mike's. Got it. But you go the full sand with Jersey Mike's or no? You go you go the, the big one? The, the, you can't go giant. You can't. It's too much. Giant it's is too big, but then the large sometimes isn't enough. I think they call it the regular. Yeah. Regular. regular yeah. Then. I agree. The The difference between the regular and the giant is it's, it's there. There should be something in the middle there. I agree. Tick went with the giant. Well, yeah. Tick is, Tick's a different. <laughs> that's kind of like, yeah, no, that's kind of like Chevy. That's kind of like Chevy going from like the Malibu to the, to the suburban. Like you need the top. Oh, I love a middle. good like, suburban man. Or you got the, you got the, you got the, you got the, uh, you got the Chevy uh, Traverse, which is like a SUV. The Tahoe. But then you don't have to jump to the Suburban. You got the Tahoe in the middle. The Tahoe is kind of yeah, like. Yeah, that's nice, too. They need, Jersey Mike's needs needs the Tahoe, Bob. Uh, and I, 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 I know what you're talking about in that regard as well. I know exactly what you're saying there. Because that's yeah. right. The giant, the giant one makes you feel like shit after you. I've ordered it several times. You feel yeah. like shit. After. And something <laughs> like that, like someone would say, oh, you know, save it for, for later. Like. No, I, I can't. It, it's never the same when it when you get it then from the fridge, and also too like just knowing that that that's in there. I can't just save it. I then have to go back to it, and then it just puts me in a very uncomfortable spot. I'm not a big saver of of takeout food. I'm not like a do... big like now homemade food. Like if Holly makes it, and it's like leftover that's Sunday fun. gravy. We should do like a that. top five that's leftover excellent. foods. Yeah. yeah. We definitely yeah. can. Jesse. I think that would play. I think that that would be a good one. By the we way, could go yeah. back. We could go back to the bagel well, top five bagels. I mean, and then it would get real interesting when you start eliminating and you can't duplicate because I got a couple, couple sleeper bagels, man, that are always on my mind. And I think I told you this, Bob. The salt bagel to me is one of the most underrated bagel plays you can make. Salt bagel. Yeah, I, I haven't really dabbled in. I love a salt bagel, man. Joe, I you, you were going to say bagel? blueberry. I feel like you're blueberry, talking different language. Blueberry, blueberry's a big, big bagel. Blueberry, blueberry I feel like you like bagel. blueberry. Top notch bagel. <laughs> you know, I never tried these bagels. This is like foreign language to me. Yeah, but Canada, I I had good bagels in Canada. Canada's got good, um, like bakery. Montre baked Montreal, yeah, yeah, Montreal, Montreal, Montreal. Oh, yeah. that's where I was. So I'm not going to generalize because Canada is massive. So I won't generalize, but. Montreal baked goods, tremendous. Everything I had. You just booked his flight to Canada today, Bob. I did. I did. You booked a flight to Canada for the wedding. So for the wedding, I had to. Uh, oh, I had, I had travel credits that were going to expire uh, Easter Sunday, so I had to book it. So I booked. What's your Canada. flight? Where are you going direct? Direct to, to Vancouver, Vancouver. nonstop. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice yeah. win, Michael. That's a good yeah, touch, it is, Mikey. It is. That's a nice yeah, win. YVR um, is a wonderful airport too. It's beautiful. Folks, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at AG1. I started taking AG1 for about a year and a half now. If you're a longtime listener, you know I'm a big AG1 guy. Gut health, my overall immune system, and just to add that extra spark of energy into my day-to-day, -day, which everybody needs that day-to-day -day energy. I recommend AG1 to all my family and friends because it really does put me in the right mindset. And I know I'm taking the best, finest ingredients, something that I could replace my multivitamin with came from AG1. Just one scoop does it all for you. You can't go wrong. AG1 is the supplement I trust to provide the support my body needs daily. And that's why they've been a partner for so long. If you want to take ownership of your health, it starts with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Go to drinkag1.com slash dumb. That's drinkag1.com slash dumb. Check it out. Mike, yeah. I want to... I wanted to chat with you about something and I saved it because I honestly wanted to ask you because we haven't really talked about it. Um, and I remember watching it and saying, you know what? I'm going to wait to ask him this on the show. Oh, no. <laughs> you raised hell with Bears Twitter or somebody, <laughs> some sort of bracket with with no. Twitter. Oh. I, I, I didn't even get to talk to you about this. It was one of the wilder things yeah. that I, I've seen taking place on Twitter and you got very very into it so why don't you tell the folks what 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 took place <laughs> so basically some some guy who i don't know 
um, runs this, he coincides it with March Madness. And he he lists out 64 fucking Bears Twitter accounts and puts them in like, and he seeds them and puts them in like a bracket challenge. I had never been involved in it. This year, I saw people were adding me that I got tagged in this thing and he made me a nod. Oh, he got the seed. nod. Yeah, so he made me a nine seed. The first round, they put it up and then they put every matchup out to vote, this guy does, which is a ton of work. I don't know, this guy, I don't even know how the fuck he does it. Anyway, first round. So 64 teams, 64. that's gotta be- Four four brackets of fourteen. So yeah. you're yeah. oh, so that's pretty good. So you're a nine seed. That's right. like that's not terrible. So the first round I upset an eight seed in the first round. You know what I mean. And then the next round I had to play a one seed. And the one oh, seed dusted. is this guy Adam Hodge who does like Bears TV. He's on you know Chicago NBC. All these things. He's got a podcast. He's he's like oh. one of the biggest like names in Bears stuff. Did he so what you? I did, what I did was on Instagram, I said, yo, go and vote for me in this tournament. I said, because oh, I'm not going to have, I, well, I don't understand what the big deal is. I this mean, is all like these what you guys, do with the top fives, you, you rigging oh, it. No. I, I'm, oh, no. That's not, I don't think that's rigging it though. Like it's an open competition for votes. I don't think that's rigging it. This guy has hundreds of thousands of followers. How is that rigging it? That's like, like if you're, if you're running for president for United States and you go and tell you and know, you're running a campaign of your for your people that like you. Yeah, what's the problem with that? That's what that's what they do. <laughs> anyway, enough. long story short, what happened was I put this story on Instagram, and the voiceless and the faithful, it might have been everybody, they just showed out, bro. And I took oh. a lead, I took a, a significant lead over this guy, and it was the most voted on of every matchup in the second round. And long story short, I was accused of cheating. That because people on Twitter like don't know my Instagram following and don't re like they couldn't compute in their brain how a guy that has a hundred thousand plus on Twitter is getting beat out by a guy with sixteen thousand on Twitter. Right. Like they they thought I was like buying bots or something like that to vote for me in this tournament, which is I mean, so th but that was it. First off, how does this guy find? 64 that's a, that's that a wonderful cover. that's a wonderful question i and couldn't I find know. you 12 that cover right, the Yankees. right right bears twitter is a, a very very toxic place <laughs> a very toxic place and and you know what they oh, i gotta get twitter and they do this. once the once you the guy do, accused me of cheating man the voiceless and the faithful were just they went nuts they just went crazy they, but you know what? You know, they all came to my defense. And then that, I, I don't know what happened after that. So you then got he said that I did. Then he said I didn't cheat. First, he disqualified me. Then he said, You're not disqualified. Now I don't know because, to be genuinely honest, I didn't care. I knew what was going to happen. It was going to uh, rile oh, Mikey, oh, Mikey, 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 Mikey. <laughs> no, I don't. No, 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 no I don't. <laughs> No, no I don't. Mikey, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you why in the end of the day, because I don't, I don't run a bears Twitter account. Like my Twitter is, I talk about the bears. Sure. But like, I don't work for the bears. I don't work for a media company. Right. Like I don't. But so then why, like, if you didn't care, why did you tell everybody Because everybody this is, because this is exactly why, because I knew that it would make, it, flipped bears Twitter upside down for like a day and a half, bro. Like people like big cat tweeted and was like, I voted for Mike. Let my vote count. Like it, it flipped the whole and everybody just went fucking crazy. Same way with the Justin Fields thing. So like I just had bears Twitter on the ropes for like a month now. And to see the reactions of some of these people is just, it's hysterical to me. It's hysterical and it's, it's good fun. It's all in good fun. And I think people that really follow along know that it's in good fun and it's, it's supposed to be funny, but some of these dudes, man, just take it very, very. I'll tell you what, Bob, the the Packers Twitter sources are prepping for a Super Bowl run, and the Bears Twitter are doing a March Madness. <laughs> that's troll that's job. How, that's, that's that just petty, shows you everything you need to is. see. That's right. That's right. That just that's shows you how much right. success this franchise. It went had from the last went from, five to ten years. It, it went from <laughs> Justin Justin Fields or Caleb Williams, everyone like half the fan base against each other, and now it's this fucking tournament. And now it'll be draft night. I will so say though, Mikey. And by the way, this isn't me busting your balls. It goes to show that you're doing something right. So many people that I saw because I was watching it unfold were saying, "Isn't this the guy that broke the false Justin Fields story?" <laughs> right, right. But but in all seriousness, it shows that you at least that people are watching and that no, people it's are there. Yeah, sure. It's 
I mean, yeah, you, I should, mean you should fire like, that source and tell him never like, to show yeah, the light of day again. You need to talk about the guy that fucked up the 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 source. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to. I'm not going to air the guy out, right? I'm Fuck, not I know, out. but he threw you. He he put you in in in, yeah, in, in but, deep water, but not intentionally. And you know what? Like, I took a shot. I believed him. I I I would have believed him again, honestly. Uh, I have no problem because again, like me being wrong, that doesn't that doesn't do anything to me. Like it doesn't like what I've liked to be right on the one hand. Yeah. But on the other hand, I want Caleb Williams. So I'm kind of happy. I was wrong. You know what I mean? Well, it turns and, out. Sorry, go ahead. No, no. I, I'm just saying like at the end of the day, like it just doesn't matter. to me. Like, and I think that's what drives people so fucking crazy is that I can have this really controlled intensity about everything I do on social media. But at the end of the day, I really don't give a shit. I, Mike, I really, you don't give a shit gonna, about you're social gonna media. Tell, you're gonna tell me I do, but I'm telling you, I really okay. Like maybe Justin, not about this. The one Justin thing, Fields but you... thing, bro. Listen, it was a it was a real source. I would trust the guy again. The tweet got over a million and a half impressions. Like it, it got me a lot of a lot of people started following. Like it was it was just a it was just a good thing for me overall. Now was it wrong? Yeah it turned out to be wrong information but at the end of the day i i really honestly don't care i i really don't the because funniest thing I'll stand was, by the guy i will still by the way there. finding out that the person who had probably the best source of where justin fields was going to go turned out to be fat perez <laughs> and fat that- perez remember we were talking about it with oh, perez yeah 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 yeah, yeah perez, yeah, yeah, yeah. perez yeah. could that was why perez yeah. could have sent you to a whole nother yeah that's, oh that's mikey fine. would have been in the four seed if that had happened yeah, maybe four three seed. maybe yeah. three the um, whole thing the whole thing is, is, is <laughs> comical and you comical. know what in perez's defense i do remember it was when we were with Manzel. It was through Manzel. I remember hearing it, but I didn't really remember who they were talking about. Right. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, fellas, let's uh, <laughs> let's get on into our buy or sell <laughs> of the program of the week. What did you see that you liked? What did you see that you did not like? Before I actually even get into that very interesting snake draft top five coming today, um, I, I think this it's going to be a whole assortment of things, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, but our buy or sell of the week, and we are going to start with none other than Joey D for the buy or sell. Um, it's, I, I've been selling a lot lately. I feel like, you know, there's been a lot of airing of grievances and stuff. I'm a buy this week. Okay. And this week I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy North Carolina State basketball, man. Uh, this is, this Goodbye. is a fun watch, man. And sure. and first of all, the, the lowest seed to make a final four in, in, in college basketball. And, and this DJ Burns, dude, this guy, they're, they're just such a fun Fun story. They started off losing their first four games of the year. They lost like something like seven of the first nine games, had to win the last five games of the year, win the ACC tournament, make it in. They've won nine in a row. The coach was on the verge of getting fired. I heard, I was talking to Perez about this. He had a clause that if he won the ACC tournament, he automatically gets uh, not only to keep his job, he gets an extension. So he's going to get a raise. Now he's got him in the final four. I hope they be. I hope they win the whole thing. They're going up now against, I believe, Purdue, and you know J- Zach and the Beanstalk, they, they, they seven gotta, foot four Edie. I, I mean, I, you know, dare to dream, Mikey. It'd be a U- hell UConn, of a story. U- UConn ain't losing, dog. These teams are steam. They're not only covering. Purdue and UConn are steamrolling teams. They're, 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 they've been crushing teams. So I was like, it, it just, I don't know, man. I don't know. UConn is going to be, UConn and Purdue, it seems like it's a crash course for those two teams. It really does to me anyway. But I hope I think North Carolina State's a great buy. I think it's a great buy. DJ I'm Burns, just saying I'll be rooting for them, so man. much fun to watch. Hey, is that guy not fun? He's he looks like they just He's picked him off, off the, off the streets. I love And him. the guy's just teardropping left hand. I love shots. him. He's you smooth, as, smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. <laughs> you know who yes. he all smiles too. The you know whole game. Who, yeah, you know who he reminds me of a lot, and he happens to be one of my favorite hotel guests of all time. It's a totally random one. His um, oh, Zach oh, Randolph. Oh, oh. oh, I was gonna say that. He was one of my favorite guests that, that we, I got such a fucking kick out of him. Well, he used to blow through money like it was fucking nothing. 
He did that too. He's a very good talker. <laughs> but we're not gonna air it out. We're not gonna we're not gonna air it out. But but he was. He, he, he was uh, a great guy. Great guy. Don't spend money. Great tipper. Um, but yeah, he reminds me a lot of Zach Randolph. And then um I, I but I will say, as good as Purdue's been, I don't think they've been as dominant as UConn. UConn no, UConn, UConn, now, UConn's been oh, UConn's I pray been to God head and shoulders loses. above everybody. Oh head my and God, I don't see a world where they lose. Me I mean, neither. they are. And by yeah. the way, you know, a really interesting coach. I thought at first I hated him, and now he's starting to grow on me a little bit. Is oh, is her? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought at first, you know, because he did a whole thing, and a lot of coaches do this. Awesome. When they were de- they were up like twenty five, and it was at the halftime where they go to interview, where they go to interview him, and he's like all pissed about how they're playing and shit like that. And I always think that that's kind of for show in a way. Is like when you're down twenty five and you're livid about the way that they're playing. With that being said, he has definitely grown on me a bit to where I I like him now. Yeah, I I think they're the bell of the ball. I really do. I they they've been just dominant. They've been so dominant, and you know every time you think that you know they're given too many points, they just I mean good teams win, great teams cover. That certainly is the and now Purdue on the flip side, Joe. I thought Purdue was a little. I thought that line with Tennessee was disrespectful. I I thought Tennessee. I I don't want to get into that kind of talk, but I just again. A team that had been blowing teams out, covering every game, and they're you're telling me less than four points for that team. Well, that Zach Eady played his his balls off, man. I mean, the guy when they feed him and he's right and he's not in foul trouble, he's unstoppable. He's seven he's unstoppable. foot four. I mean, he just goes like this and he's unstoppable. Scores. Yeah, did you he's see that a monster? Did you see that clip going around of him yeah, going I into the room with that's that? That's like girl. me going into a room. That's you know, I, I know. I what know. happened? Is that what you thought of? So after the game, it, it, it reminiscent, yeah. reminiscent. And by the way, the girl that he was with was a very pretty girl. Oh, I'm they, not talking about the girl aspect. I'm just talking about getting into a room. And of how, course, how, of course. How of doofy course. I look next to regular size people. So what happened? What happened? He oh, there's so... a clip after they won the Elite Eight. He was at like some frat party, and someone took a video of him <laughs> going into a bedroom with you the know, like you... classic frat party. Nowadays, thing. technology you can't do anything without it going totally, on. Totally, totally. The guy put up a forty piece, and he, you know he, he should did. be allowed to go have a good time. Hundred percent. And oh, now they're he's... airing of the grievances, man. It's just unbelievable. I'll tell you well, why. Well, it, airing of the grievances. But look at. Look at this video, though. Look at him. Oh, look at yeah. him walk. Look at him. Look, look at the size, the size he, of this guy. He can't get into that door, Joey D. No. That's yeah, and, such bullshit that someone would post It is. That. It you is. Know, no, let the guy have his fun, man. 100%. Come on. Yeah. What is wrong? This we is where I, society, the technology is, has, has corrupted you know, just yeah, everyday living. You can't do anything anymore. You nope. can't jaywalk without someone taking a fucking video of you. Nope. You know who I feel really bad for, too? Because, like, at least Edie, like, everybody will say he's the man, and that's great. I feel bad for the girl. You know? I, I, I feel bad. I feel bad for her. I mean, don't uh, feel too bad for Zach Edie. He just dropped the 40-piece, 16 rebounds. I feel bad for the girl. Because she got right, Maybe she had the time of her life. Well, maybe she did, but but that's. I mean, I yeah, know. you got to imagine. You got to imagine. You got to imagine Edie's okay. You got to imagine. That. Edie's guy's okay. Got another limb. <laughs> oh my God, bro! You genuinely That's an absolute <laughs> bohemian. <laughs> I told she you, Mike. Never had a better time in her life, Bob. The, one of my biggest, one of my biggest regrets was the first time meeting Mikey, saying, "Wow, you're fucking tall." And and I still have that video. Oh, Mikey's no. like, yeah, yeah. Just what a stupid thing to say. It it really yeah. is. Mind you, he was next to Jersey Jerry, so he looked even taller. He, he gained like another <laughs> foot. So, but what a regret, because there really is, if it, it, in a way, it's a disadvantage in regards to almost being too, no, I shouldn't say a disadvantage, but hearing oh, People shit, dream of being tall. No, I people, know. 
People would give everything yeah, but, to be tall. But it's like, a great what, thing to be. What tall. Mikey says though, of like you can't, like you can't say something to somebody that's short. It's disrespectful. No, but then no. you can say something to somebody yeah, who's really tall. Yeah, you can. They have a whole thing called short man syndrome. They have like Napoleon a, complex. Yeah. No, but I, I mean, what Bob is saying is not incorrect though. Like you got to think about things. Like now, there's tall. Like six foot three is a very tall man. That's a tall man. Six uh -huh. three. Six four, you're very tall. But when you start dabbling in six seven, six eight, six nine, and above that, everything is very, very, very annoying. Car buying, clothes buying, airplanes, as we talked about, ad nauseum. Uh, you know, little aches and pains in your joints, especially I'm not a skinny six seven guy. Like a lot of these guys are bean poles that are really tall. Like I have a lot of mass on me. Like it's, it's fucking like my body is aching all the time, bro. Like the video I put up when I golf Friday, I had on an elbow brace, a knee brace, a back brace. That like, was all this shit, bro. Yeah, you look like, yeah, you look yeah, like dude. my dad playing third base at his song. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. But I tell you what though, afterward, I felt really good. I felt like That's no good. soreness. So, you know, and I played well. So Did you start good. using your ice bath? Your no, plunge? I got to fill it. I got to fill it. I gotta fill it. I have it all set up. It's all set up. I With the water it. and all? Yeah, because I gotta turn the faucet on and Jersey, it's still been dipping down into the low 30s. So I'm like very, very like paranoid so maybe, about turning can, the faucet on. Can but can you just look at this guy? Look at this guy. To, yeah, that's look a, a Bob Rob Bombrowski or, or something. <laughs> yeah, man. Look like that, at the size. Yeah, you know, I feel that you know, I guy feel, looks like a video. No, there's people that dream of being that big, Joe. No, they don't. Like, Not no, that they, big. Like, but no, like six don't. foot five, yeah, that's a nice okay, size. Six, yeah, six five is a great height. It so is. Mikey, it's, a good, it's a good height. Let me ask you something. Would you would you pay money to go down a couple inches? Like if somebody said you could pay ten thousand dollars to go down two inches, would you? No, I'm 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 serious. I'm not even. <laughs> I'm serious. I really want to know. Would you two go inches. down? Two inches everywhere, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I wouldn't. Oh, I would. they call him I the would. limb maker. Oh, I would. I wouldn't. I, I listen. Truth be told, they call like, him the big Lebowski. <laughs> <laughs> My, I, I, no, no, no. I enjoy it. Oh, it's got to be a <laughs> that fucking got... bean pole. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that, that thing's does... got to be a hickory. Piece of fucking hickory. <laughs> That's no, the I real wish... Louisville slugger, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Is... Now, what are we doing? That, that, that is man? a That thing could house a family of fucking woodpeckers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God, bro. That is preposterous. <laughs> That is preposterous. By the way, there's also two people <laughs> being having too big of a dick, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't have yeah. that problem. I don't That's a real it. thing. I definitely don't have that problem. Oh, oh, but uh, to answer your original question, the answer's got to be no. I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. You what do you think is the ideal would height? I, would, six, would, two, I pay, six, would I pay 10 grand to have a different body makeup in terms of like joint? If I could like get better joints for 10 right. grand? Sure. Right. But I'd you're in that. great shape. But you're in great But what do you think is the perfect height? Like six, two, six, three? I think an ideal male height is six foot four. I think six four is is like a really oh, that's six, huge. Three, that's tall. Six my three guy. six four is like a really good spot. I think six three six four is a good spot. I think it's a good spot to be in. Yeah. Once you start going over six six, man, it's just oh. it's dumb. The ducking of the right. head naturally through every doorway, just stupid <laughs> shit. It's just <laughs> so dumb. I got very lucky too. My shoes are like the last size of the common sizes that they make. Because if you go online- Are you 13 not, or 14? I'm a 14, which is like the cutoff. That's it. After 14, you don't find shit. Like if I was a 16, 17, you know, again, another thing, like people just don't think about stuff like that. You know? Yes, yeah, I don't tall, know. Six, tall, tall, six tall. four is pretty tall. I, I'd oh, love tall. Yeah. yeah. Six tall. one, six two is a good number, I think. My dad's six two. It's a good yeah. number. It's a good number yeah. for sure. I already feel myself though with my posture. Are you, six and you foot guys or talking? six one, Joe? Uh, I'm uh, just, Bob. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, me? Six you're six one. one. Yeah, you're, you're six one, Joe. 
I'm like just under. I'm like in between six and six one. And Bob and I are essentially the same size. So I, I was going to like say, yeah. yeah. Same my, height, pretty much. My posture puts me down like an inch. <laughs> I do. I'm starting to see this that. This guy's man. got the hunchback, man. Dude, he does, bro. He does. His yeah, sachet, the Bob sachet. <laughs> we watched him Bob's in New York. The, 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 Mikey looks at me. He's like, look how this guy walks. And you're just. Bro, I, I just say it, it's a mar- <laughs> it, I marvel. At it. It's unbelievable. He walks like he's 72 years old. But yeah. he's very, very, he's very nimble. When he, I like he works out. He did great. Time. Sh- you're in great yeah. shape. Yeah, goes for runs, all that. But when it comes to like, just you know, <laughs> you know around. when you see it the most, if there is like a oh, uh, buffet or a thing of food, oh, that's, the way yes. he hangs yes. around, that's when, when you really notice because he kind of like. When just, he has a plate of it's food like a vulture. His hands, it's full hunch. Full <laughs> hunch when he's got a plate of food. Full hunch. I'll never forget that. That's the last image burned in my brain. First time he ever came over to my house and he got a plate of food off like, and Holly served it like buffet style. And he comes to the plate and he said, he grabbed the full plate. It was like 10 o'clock at night. Everyone's hanging out having a good time. He, he left. He goes, he goes, all right, that's it for me. And he's walking away. And, you just, and he's just walking with the plate and his hunch is like a full hunch. I'm like, Yo, this guy's like a fucking, he's like, he's like an old man. I go, what the fuck? You were shocked uh, that I was going to, best of- you thought you were shocked <laughs> that I was going to bed. I remember that. You couldn't believe that I was really going. Yeah, no, no, I couldn't. That. I couldn't. Yeah, I no. couldn't. I was, uh, that was good though. That's a good thing. That's a good um, thing. All right. Uh, to keep it going with the buy or sell. Um, I am, I, I what I was going to do, we ended up talking about it so early in the show is I was going to buy Task Rabbit. Although I told Joe I I booked one and the guy just never showed up, so that was tough. But the buy of the Task Rabbit, I think I could really have a lot of fun with. I mean, the different things on there, the the waiting in lines, and the there's that's a lot unbelievable. Of, I told him about of, it like two days ago. That's, I knew un- it was a that's, matter un- of, that's unbelievable. I knew it was a matter of less than a week that he would be dabbling in it. Once I told him, because he was so so keen to find out like the intricate details of how it worked yeah. so today i talked to him he's like yeah i got a task rabbit coming i said well now and it's once he discovers it he will be all in it's like the first yeah. time he discovered postmates yeah i mean this is very similar this is postmates for like regular for life activity. for life right right no, <laughs> just, just, just. i told you guys what i what i did with the with the and i won't get into my buy or sell but the postmates where i had some sort of food poisoning the other day and it was yeah. fucking yeah what a, what a terrible thing to have there's there might be nothing worse than when you're i don't mind throwing up i could throw up no problem because i hate me, throwing up I if i'm like it. having a long night of drinking i and i throw up i love it because it just clears everything but when you get to the point where you're dry heaving Oh, that's a terrible oh, man but i had some sort of food uh sort of food poisoning uh i ordered chipotle i ate it i threw it up okay then i ordered dairy queen because i just tried convincing myself oh, that something my cold god by the way a lot of people when we did the fast food thing and and said i said that dairy queen's on a fast food place said bob it is. They sell fast food. It's really good. To the people who told me you got to try Dairy Queen fast food, shame on you. It it was terrible. You tried it? It was awful. I, I was so... <laughs> That's the uh, hot East <laughs> cool treats. <laughs> yeah, I, I was yeah. so upset yeah. with our followers for that. It was terrible. I threw up the Dairy Queen and then ordered McDonald's, threw it up, and called the quits. It was or, I mean, Bob, at some point, you got to understand, like, having an empty stomach, you, if, you, if you're throwing up, as soon as you put something in, it's coming back. I know. Yeah. yeah. My worst like Maybe, like, some chicken broth or something. You, you may, yeah, you, you got to go with, like, toast. Or, like, or like, a, uh, or like those... Know. Wheat crackers, like the like the right. like rice or, crackers, or pastina, pastina, yeah, something like that. Yeah, you can't be doing McDonald's, dude. Yeah, That's... My, yeah that was bad. The man. Dairy Queen, the Dairy Queen's even oh, crazy. Dairy Queen That's really insane. insane. That's and Chipotle's insane. Chipotle's pretty crazy too. Well, the Chipotle got him sick though, so that like he doesn't. No, eat. he was already sick. No, yeah, he was sick before the Chipotle. So what was he the meal ordered that you three think foods. did it then? What was the meal that we you think did it? I don't know. I don't you know. Grew up at the golf I thought it was before. the Chipotle that did it. No, no we ordered okay. three things of food while he was already <laughs> throwing up. So you, you decided I threw up. Let me order Mexican dairy and then the worst <laughs> fast food on the face of the planet. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Yeah. McDonald's is we, McDonald's. we love the arches, Michael. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Thank yeah, you. I'm sorry. I, and by the way, I've I seen the way you light up during long. during NASCAR, who we love, by the That's way. That's a little when, different. The breakfast McDonald's is a little different. I think their breakfast is the best in the fast food game. There's no oh, it question. Is. There's no question. I'm saying after you get past breakfast, there's other places you could go. I, I'm just saying. I just under, saying. I Great under, coffee. Great coffee. Really good coffee. Really good coffee. Some yeah. of the best coffee. Really good. Really good. Really good, no question about it. I'll be I'll ordering it McDonald's in Alabama. There's not a, there's not even Can't wait. McDonald's breakfast would be on the table. By the way, found out from Perez that the reservation steakhouse is only 15 minutes from where we're staying, not an great. hour, which is great. How which about the great. place we're staying? It looks like the set of Scarface, the disco <laughs> snail, the disco <laughs> snail. Don't let that cat out of the bag. That's good. Oh content. my That's good god, That's I'll tell you what, man. Like I really out. look forward to that trip with you boys. I, I really do. Yeah, I, it's, I, be I, fun. it's it really will. And boy, do we love NASCAR, man. Fucking we love it. Really man. do. I mean, we really come do. Come on, dog. Um, all right, buy or sell. <laughs> I am. Uh, it was going to be Tash Rabbit. I I am buying. You talk about a guy who looks great in pinstripes, and I know I could be selling him next week. And we're so, so high or low. Juan Soto, man, this guy is such a fucking dog. And some people just look good in pinstripes. The way he fills out that uniform, Mikey V. Yeah. Oh, is that now? Imagine if we had uh, Garrett Cole. Oh, don't I do know. that. Don't do I know. That. And I like how you say, imagine please, you're on board with us. Well, we're four and all. No, we. No, sure are. We're I mean, and listen, I, I'm going to say this. And a lot of people were like, you know, oh, what do you think about the Yankees? No, what do you think? I, they look good. You, They're pets. Yes, they look good. But that's all you could say. You can't give a legitimate baseball take four games into the season. You, the you Astros just, are a good team, though. The Astros are their bugaboo. There's no question. So the and fact they swept that they them start on the road, there is no better possible start to a season than what the Yankees just did. And we should just leave it at that because Down you don't know nothing. how it's going to go. You don't First know what's game out of the gates to come back and win Me, five. You know, four. and this was no DJ LeMahieu. This was no Volpe. He got scratched in the last game. This well, was Volpe's been had, great. He was great, and he I'm got scratched in the problem. last game. Aaron Judge, two hits the entire season. He did nothing to contribute yet. Anthony Rizzo, nothing to contribute yet. No Garrett Cole, we know that. A bullpen that wasn't supposed to be as good as last year's bullpen or the bullpens of Yankees past. It's exactly what Bob said it was and what you said it was, Joe. It's the best possible start you could have ever hoped for as a Yankee fan, sweeping that fucking team who I despise. I despise that team in their building four games is as good of a start, but I'm leaving it there. I'm not going into I know. what are the, I, I just won't go into it because mm -hmm. it's, it's just baseball's too long of a, 158 more games to go. Oh, yeah, even my God, buddy yeah. said to me, like I had to get home the other day because I because the game was starting. I wanted to see the game. He's like, look, if you're doing this whole 161, 162 games, he's like, you're going to drive yourself fucking nuts. He's like, you got to. Well, that is what <laughs> we do. That is what we do, though. <laughs> I, I know. If the Yankees lose tomorrow, it'll be the season's over. Well, they're Correct. playing tonight. They're playing tonight. Yeah, and a late one, late slot Diamondbacks tonight. are Diamondbacks good, too, by I the know. way. Diamondbacks are very good. good. Diamondbacks I mean, what a good. tough start to the season. I mean, that's not an easy schedule. No. No, not for, on, no, not for not. only subs baseball, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Four and one start to the MLB. I will see this. I, I never thought I'd see the day. I'm happy baseball's back. Oh, me too. Yeah. Man. Me too. Me too. It's There's fun. nothing. And I haven't even really been able to lock in yet because of Easter weekend and traveling with the kids to her parents, my parents. I haven't even really been able to work. I've been able to really lock in and fucking watch. Tonight, I'm looking forward to I'm going to lock in. I'm just going to watch the Yankees. It's gonna You're going to watch the whole game? Well, I'll watch until I start falling asleep, and then I'll go. There's a work day tomorrow, Michael. It is a work day tomorrow, unfortunately, but that's fine. We got a battle. That's almost we, a ten o'clock start. That's I know. the one we thing. Uh, the Eastern time, man. When you when you have work or you uh, nothing. When you have responsibilities the following day, you got to get up early. You can't watch till one in the it's morning. Tough. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Don't get me wrong, but I'm going to tell you what you're going to love about East Coast more than anything. Because you haven't been, you haven't experienced it yet, and Bob has, but a while ago. Can I guess? When? The, yeah, go ahead. Sports, sports related. Oh, um, Sunday football. I was going to say one o'clock no. Sunday football, but but no. ten o'clock's better. When you lock, I don't in, know, Bob. You could get a round of golf when, in before when football. you when you boys have 
a free slate Saturday and you watch college football, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, seven o'clock, 10 o'clock Hawaii oh. game, you get college football. And if you like it and you gamble on it, you get it. You get it for 14. It makes the NFL slate look like child's play. It's 14 hours of football. It's all day. It's yeah, insane. But, and oh. Joe's right. You could get around. If you're 7 a.m. tea time, you could be back in time for kickoff at 12. But what's the difference? I mean, you still get that on Pacific Coast, too. Pacific Coast, it starts at 9. Yeah, yeah. but it starts so early in the morning. It I does. Like eventually, it's wrapped up in your night. You're not going to bed yet, babe. I like so my, like, you're saying like as like a the father premier, or the as premier, like a husband, oh, you could put dude. your responsibilities oh. in the morning, do oh. your due diligence, and oh. then you can reap the benefits. Dude, when the, when you get that Big Ten noon game, the SEC at 3.30, like Bama LSU, then you get the primetime game, whatever it is, like Clemson Notre Dame, and then you go to like a random Pac-12 game, which is different now because there's no more Pac-12, but – uh, you get the like the like the Utah USC game, and then just a stupid game like San Jose State against Hawaii at midnight kickoff. There's just nothing better. There's just That's nothing. Wild. It's it is the greatest. It's the greatest time because you could just sit there and watch college football till two o'clock in the morning. It's, yeah, we'll say that with the Pacific time is for the college football slate. It's it does sneak up a little too quick on you. Very early. Like even the ten o'clock for NFL is is a, early. The nine, a nine, is a, nine a.m. is. I mean, I'm just having. I mean, I just finished making the kids breakfast and trying to get myself my underwear on. I can't. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> lock, I can't lock in beds for nine a.m. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Um. All right, Mikey V. We'll set it on over to you. Buy or sell. I got a wow. big sell. I got a big sell tonight, and I think it's an obvious sell, staring us all in the face. Now this this pod gets released Monday, uh, Tuesday, April second. But we all know what today is that we're recording on. And I am selling this day. This day, <laughs> April Fool's is the biggest joke. It's I, supposed to be I, a joke. I hate April Fool's, man. Why? I am selling because it's, it's fucking stupid. You wake up. You don't know what to trust news-wise. You don't know what's real. You don't know what's not real. It's just, I just, it's, it's so ridiculously useless i hate april fools i have no use for april fools i just think it's horrible i think it's horrible i don't think there's a single redeeming quality about april fools i really don't i, oh I, I really God. i don't believe i'm not a big nobody really guy. even follows it anymore yeah i feel as though they do i saw a couple things today it was so stupid I, and these are like major accounts like cbs wow. is putting out stuff it's just ridiculous it's ridiculous april fools i'm over it man never don't, was part of it but i'm over it don't <laughs> let that that penix to metcalf count is working <laughs> yeah, on yeah, and off of yeah. april fools well those you know what though that i respect more than april fools cuz every oh, tom dick and harry on april Mikey. fools is trying to be like that and i i just think i have no use for it i have no use for it it's very i mean sure i guess maybe when i was younger maybe i i thought but now i maybe i'm too old maybe i think i saw the pat mcafee show today got fooled uh by a oh, fake really? golf account about michael see. block being in the masters oh and, um, my God. Yeah. Any, anybody could be catfished anybody could be had and yeah. yeah. not just me not true just story me. you hear that joey date head on a swivel um yeah all times all right, fellas, can I get a little <laughs> bit of a drum roll, please? It is snake draft time, ladies and gentlemen. Back at it for more now. Uh, what Bobby I find won. interesting. Yes, he did. Yeah, what I find interesting about this one though is I, I don't think I I don't think these answers are as obvious as some others might think, where like you need to lock in a certain one. What we're gonna be doing here today is going to be top five chips, top five potato chips. I just want to set some ground rules. Going to go to the committee here. Are we okay with like uh, Cheetos? Are we okay? No, with no. We're not okay with Cheetos. Uh, I am okay with Cheetos. Because I would okay? be. Oh, that changes everything. Then. Well, it's got to be a full committee approval to where if you don't approve it, Joey D. But I, I, did I mean, I love, Cheetos I over. love Cheetos. I love Cheetos. So if, if I'm you're okay, okay, I'm with, okay it, with Cheetos, then yeah. I'll, I'll do Cheetos. Okay, yeah, and I'm then fine, what? I'm fine with Cheetos. What about like a smart food popcorn? 
No, I'm going to say popcorn is not no it's popcorn. its own entity. Popcorn okay. is its own entity. Okay, not a problem there. Mikey V, three wins. Me, two. Joey D, one. I won the last week, so I, um, I'm i going. Oh, this is tough. It, it is. It, it's a very tough one. I'm going to take the, the first pick. I'm wow. Go. Yeah. So then I'm second. I'm second. Well, Mikey, yeah. Mikey gets yeah, the pick. Yeah. Who yeah, Mikey? Right. I mean, who in the right third. mind? Yeah. yeah. Not take yeah. Third. So do, okay, and then question for you. If I go if I go Doritos, but right. You gotta pick a flavor. You gotta pick a flavor. You gotta pick a flavor. Okay, that's that's yeah, what I, I was agree. Going. There's I not agree. enough chips. There's not enough chips that you could just take all of Doritos. <laughs> I agree. I, I agree. I agree. Right. This guy wants to have the whole Doritos fucking branch. Why? That's why I'm asking. I'm doing my due diligence here. Um. All right. Let's get down to business. I'm gonna go first. Joey D. Second. Mikey V. Three. Uh. Number one. I am taking nacho cheese uh, Doritos out of the gate. I'm gonna take nacho cheese Dorito. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great pick. Um. Sure. I gotta follow it right up. I'm gonna go Doritos Cool Ranch in the second right. spot. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just tough. that's tough scene for me. <laughs> I mean, Bob, I think it's a one, two. I really, I, I mean, all right, this all right. is give tough, me, man. Give me, give me, give me crunchy Cheetos. Cheetos crunchy. Oh, that's a great play. Not the, not the puffs, the crunchy. Give me Cheetos crunchy. And then I'm going to go ahead and give me. Give me Pringles. Give me Pringles, sour cream, and onion. That's a good play, too. Love it. Yeah, I really love it. Back to when you're in the two spot, you can't miss. No. You can't miss. It's no, a real can't. tough. It's a real, real tough sledding. Um, okay. I'm going to go. Man, this is tough. It really is. I'm going to go number two. I'm going to go Ruffles, Sour Cream, and Onion. Such a good pick. Heck. Such a great pick. I would have gone Pringles, but Mikey stole. That's a great play. Robert. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot it comes over to me. Um, for some reason, I was thinking Joey did too. Back uh, to back. No, you have two. Yeah, this is two big picks now. And bro, it's really, really tough. Um, okay. All right. I am going to go. Mikey, did you have sour cream and onion Pringles? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. I am going to go. Heat cod kettle cooked chips. It's Which flavor? The, the, the original. original. The original Cape Cod at two. And then number three, I'd like to go spicy sweet chili Dorito at three. <laughs> okay. The sweet chili, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, too. A lot of Doritos out there, dog. Yeah. yeah a I lot mean, of it's, Doritos. It's the I number mean... one in the game. God, this is so tough, man. Yeah, it is. I am going to go. Fuck, man, this second spot is tough. I, hope, I, I have an idea that I have to. I have to get this. Joe can't pick this because it will fuck me. I, I, I have to have this for my next go around. I have to. I have to, or I'm fucked. I have to. Oh my god, there's a few that I could go with. All right, I'm gonna go with Miss Vicky Salt and Vinegar. Okay, good. Thank God. That's the one I'm gonna go with. Mikey V gets two now. Yeah, give me Fritos. Give me Fritos. Um, the Fritos barbecue twist. The Fritos barbecue Great twist. Great Fritos chip. BBQ twist. And then on the way back, put me down for... Cape Cod was such a good fucking play, dude. This is such a battle, man. Yeah. Give me, give me, you know what? Give me Sun Chips Harvest Cheddar. I, I love the one. play, Michael. I love Sun, the play. Sun Chips Harvest Cheddar. All right. I, I'm I'm shocked that I get this at the four. So I'm going to go with the original Pringles. 
original Pringles. Okay. Bob, um, you got two picks now. This is yeah, these is the last two picks. Do you guys get kind of nervous in these? Oh yeah. A lot of <laughs> I nerves. do. I, I do. Nerves. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, they were in the war room right now. We are. This is like being in the war room. Um tell you what I'm gonna do. Um tell you exactly what I'm gonna do. Give me This is a battle, boys. Yeah, it is. This Mikey, is com confirming you took you took um Cheetos off the board, right? Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. My number Cheeto. one selection. Yeah. The crunchy. Yeah, the crunchy. I'm gonna go with Lay's barbecue potato. Lay's barbecue is a good chip. I'm That's gonna go chip. Lay's barbecue potato chips, and then number five. And I hope that this is my steal at five. Give me Cheez Its. Okay. Oh, I got such a difficult decision to make right now. Do. It's between two. One of them is a Cheeto, which is the flaming hot. Um. And then the other one is one that if I don't take, I think Michael will take it. Mikey's a little sneaky fuck. <laughs> yeah. He really is. He really, really is. Uh, fuck you. By the way, Mikey, you're writing these down too because you to go over I them always, at the end. There. I, always, I always write them down. Thank yeah. you, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. This is really, I just don't know. I don't know. I feel like if I take this last chip, I have like a good variety. Fuck, man. I'm gonna go with Cheetos Flaming Hot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I think that that is a is. I have to have a, that on the board. It's a popular chip. I think I have to have that on the board. That's my. That's my. Fit. Yeah, I mean, I'm I, happy I, with that. I think we. I, I mean, listen. This is this last pick. Okay. This is a pick that is going to get criticized. It's a pick that's, but this is a pick to remain true to myself, dog. I mean, listen. Ah, uh, he's taking the one I was going to take. It's, it's the, the most Tostitos diverse it's, scoops. It's the best chip that you've never admitted that it's the best chip. Do you know it, why it, I didn't take it? Because you can't have it without salsa totally or without great. something. So totally like you but, need, but, the, to but that have doesn't preclude. But that doesn't preclude that from but working on this list. If you're on, on the list. go, if you're that on doesn't, the go, Michael, but this is not. But hold on, chips. but hold on, but hold on. You can't this just is, have scoops. And I thought about it. It was between the scoops and the flaming Cheetos. Mm -hmm. You have to sit. Well, you chose the wrong kind of, one. You chose the wrong one. No, I didn't. Because you have okay. to have. A I'm going to take Tostitos scoops. I'm going to take Tostito scoops because this is not the top five chips you can't eat anything else list. This is the top five chips list. If I have the Tocito scoops locked and loaded, I got dips on deck at my house all the time. I got street corn dip. I got artichoke, uh, uh, spinach artichoke. I got uh, salsa. I got it all. And and the Tocito scoop is the most well-rounded chip, no pun intended, for any of those things. It's not so versatile if you can't oh, have it by chip. itself. I've eaten it by itself plenty oh, of times. Oh, that is the that is <laughs> stuff of psychos. Oh, You've my, eaten it by what? itself? I got it. There's a big scoop army out there that's going to back me up. Oh, yeah. Big scoop army. Of course. Big scoop army. Of course. Oh, no. uh, you know what the army is? It's called the voice of the voices. That's correct. Um. All right, Mikey, why don't you read through those lists? Uh, uh, well, uh, who's, well, uh, I'm interested to hear these the things. Shuffle. Yeah. Okay, Bob, I think uh, the consensus 1 1 in this draft was going to be Doritos Nacho. I, I, I think that was the right play. Doritos Nacho. Cape Cod Kettle, which I think is the, is his best pick, actually. In my opinion, I think that's his best pick. Spicy Sweet Chili Doritos, Lay's Barbecue, another one that I liked, and Cheez-Its. Uh, Joey Doritos Cool Ranch, Ruffles Sour Cream and Onion, Miss Vicky's, Miss Vicky's Salt and Vinegar, Pringles uh, Original, and Cheetos Flaming Hot. I got Cheetos Crunchy, Pringles Sour Cream and Onion, Fritos Barbecue Twists, Sun Chips, Harvest Cheddar, and Tostito Scoops. I kind of like where man I stand. Win. I, I do, I too. It's, it's... I like where I'm at. I, I mean, I really I do. don't know about, I don't know. How, you know what I'm interested in, Bob? I think your list is great. I don't know the Cheez-Its play. I don't know how many people will like that. I think people, to me, Cheez-Its is like you love or you hate Cheez-Its. 
Like I, I just, could go the rest of my life and never have a fucking cheese it and be fine. So so here's here's the thing. Like I but I know people look... who love cheese its. I know people who are the complete opposite. So these are these are some chips that got left out of the mix. Lay's regular. Okay. Ruffles ha- Ruffles yeah. Jalapeno Ranch. Never had that. No. Sun Chips French Onion. That's, I, that's a really that's I, a strong. I tell strong you what. Chip. I tell you what's a chip that we didn't. Kettle Chips that. Jalapeno. Mm. The what about what about bagel chips? You ever have a bagel chip, bagel crisp chip, Bob? The yeah. little bagel chips? Yeah, it doesn't excite me. Oh, I love those. I think they're great. I think they're <laughs> yeah. Great. I think they're great. But go ahead, Joe. What's another chip that got left off the list? Um, There's a few. I, I mean, honestly, I think the, the, the big ones got taken off the board, but I just don't know. Regular just... Fritos. Regular Fritos didn't go. Well, no, you oh, picked I the also right the Frito. chill. The chili cheese Fritos were also really good. Those got left Never off had the them. board too. Never had them. I, I will say that it's uh, a lot of these picks. It's like consensus. It's like with the movies. Like people are very biased based on what they like. So you, it's hard to know what's going to come out on top. I think yeah. everybody has like Bob's nacho cheese uh, Doritos followed by the Cape Cod. I think is a solid one too. Mikey, your Pringle sour cream and onion. I think it's a really good pick, and your cheesy, your 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 Cheetos Crunchy is a really good pick. Yeah. So I it's and then I don't know, man. It's just what's, it's what's the difference between the Cheeto and the Cheeto Crunchy though? That that I I didn't. Oh, know. there's one one Cheeto a puff, puff, one's a puff, and one's there's a, a Cheeto Puff Crunchy, and then there's uh, a Cheeto Crunchy. I don't like. I got. You. I don't. I got like, the flaming hot. I don't like the puffy. I'm not a puffy okay. guy. Yeah, I got the flaming residue. Hot. I know you can't really hold that against the chip for residue. Yeah, but even... no, I mean, you're talking Doritos. You're talking a lot of residue. 100%. 100%. Yeah, yeah. A whole you're lot. talking Cheetos. You, you, everybody and their mother knows you just had Cheetos after yeah. a full bag. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> you're committed when you have Cheetos. That's right. All right. Well, fellas, another snake draft in the books. Another real strong, solid episode of the Burnley Dumb Show in the books. Let's clap it up for us. Let's clap it up for us and the folks back home. Um, folks, if you could please do us a favor, smash that subscribe button, um, the whole nine yards. We love you. We appreciate you, boys. We will see you next week. That has been another edition of the Brownlee Dumb Show. Take care.